Hello everyone, my name is Emma Kim and today I'll present to you guys about the animal cell structure. Here is the model of the animal cell and here is the picture of the animal cell. The first organelle that I try to present to you guys is cell membrane. Cell membrane is the outer layer of the cell that covers the cell and it allows the materials in and out of the cell. Cytoskeleton Cytoskeleton is the network of the protein filament and the function of the cytoskeleton is support the cell and give cell shape. Third is nucleus. Nucleus is this um, blue thing in this cell model and nucleus is the brain of cell and give us in structure to the cell. Ribosome. Ribosome is the smallest organelle in the animal cell and the function of the ribosome is make the protein. Lysosome. The function of the lysosome is to move, removing the waste of the cell. Endoplasm reticulum. We also call it as ER. There are two types of ER. First is smooth ER and second is a rough ER. And the function of the ER is first, making a lipid. Second, process and transport the protein. Mitochondria. Mitochondria is my favorite organelle because it is like hot dog or sausage looks like. Mitochondria is where the cellular respiration is taking a place. The cellular respiration is breaking down the food molecule with the oxygen and release water, energy, and carbon dioxide. Vacuole. Vacuole is the organelle where the animal cell stores the water. Lastly, Goji complex. Goji complex is kind of like post office that delivers the materials in and out of cell and around the cell. Thank you for listening my presentation. The next is Yesun. Um, hi, my name is Yesun and I'm going to present the plant cell. And this is a plant cell model I made in the science class with the clay. And cell membrane. Um, cell membrane is a protective layer that protects the cell, and the function is to allow material in and out the cell. Um, cytoskeleton. Um, cytoskeleton skeleton is a network of protein filaments, and the function is it supports the cell and gives cell shape. Um, and nucleus is a brain of the cell and it gives order to the cell and it contains genetic information which is called DNA. Uh, mitochondria. Uh, mitochondria is where the cellular respiration taking place and it breaks down food molecule with oxygen and release energy, water and carbon dioxide. Um, ribosome, this is the smallest organelle in the cell, and this makes protein. Um, endoplasmic reticulum, which is called ER, um, this makes lipid, and process and transport protein. Um, Golgi complex, um, Golgi complex is called post office, and it delivers material in and out of the cell. Um, and there are three additional parts which animal cells don't have, which are cell wall, and large central vacuole, and chloroplast. Um, cell wall is a rigid structure that protects the cell, and large central vacuole it store water, and chloroplast it make food and release oxygen. Um, thank you. And next will be David. Hello, my name is David Yu and I want to talk about 11 organ systems. Now, the first system is circulatory system or also known as cardiovascular system. This system will help you to circulate your blood and also carries your nutrition and oxygen throughout your body. The second system is digestive system or also known as excretory system. This system will help you to digest the food that you ate and also absorb nutrition and remove waste. The third system is endocrine system. This system is related to hormone that will control mood, energy level, and reproduction. The fourth system is integumentary system or also known as 
exocrine system. This system is the largest system in your body and this system will help you to prevent you from getting virus and also relate to our out layer of our body which is like our skin and our hair. This system will also remove waste by sweat. The next system is lymphatic system or also known as immune system. This system will help you for from prevent you from getting virus. For example, like if you feel sick, then you might think like your immune system is fighting with the virus that is in your body. The next system is respiratory system. This system will help you to observe oxygen and also release carbon dioxide. And lung is one of the main organs in this system. These days, COVID-19 is famous, like COVID-19, MERS, SARS, those viruses are attacking respiratory system. The next system is nervous system. Nervous system is a major controlling, regulatory, and communicated system in your body. Nervous system is also the center of your mental activity, such as memory, think, and learning. The next system is renal system or also known as urinary system. This system will help you to filter out your blood and also release water and your waste. The next system is muscular system and skeletal system. Some people call it like musculoskeletal system. They combine it because they both help you to move. So basically muscular system will help your movement and circulatory system, I mean skeletal system also help your movement but also support your body. The last system is reproductive system. This system will make the species to not extinct and when a male sex cell and female sex cell join together this process is called fertilization and while this process they will create a new cell called zygote and zygote is a, where a new life begins thank you for listening to my presentation